Halloween is really a special time, isn't it? Especially for me. You can see why if you know who I am. Look up a little. <laughs> That's me, a jack-o'-lantern. At Halloween time every year, I sit up here and watch everybody go by. It's a nice and scary time, isn't it? All those wonderful costumes and masks and makeup. I think about how much fun Halloween is. I also worry a little bit about the things that can spoil the fun of Halloween. Those kinds of things scare me too, but in a different way. For instance, look next door. That's where Cory lives. Cory, have you got that pumpkin ready yet? Yes, yes. Cory's going to carve a pumpkin with her this dad. Pumpkin like it weighs 50 pounds. That's a big one. It probably weighs close to that. Probably. Come on here and set it down. Okay. Let me get the paper straightened out. How's that? That's fine. Have you decided what kind of face you're going to make on it yet? A happy face. Oh, yeah. Now, a pumpkin's not easy to carve. I know that. You need the proper tools. But first, you have to draw a face that you can carve. Corey's doing that. That's a nice pumpkin face. Thank you. Let's see if we can cut the top off now. Then you cut the top off so you can scoop out the insides. It takes a sharp knife. And you know, sharp knives can be dangerous if they're not used right. I'm glad that Corey's father is helping her. It's much safer that way. Eager to get inside? Yeah. Go ahead and pull that off. Ew, look. You ever seen the inside of a pumpkin before? Yeah. Not that way. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's start mm. cleaning it out. <laughs> Getting my inside scooped out tickles me. <laughs> It'd tickle you, too, if, if you were a pumpkin. So far, it's been fun. But look at Corey's hand. <laughs> kind of gooey, isn't it? Corey is going to carve the face with a small knife. Can you imagine how that knife could slip and maybe cut her? I hope Corey will do the safe thing. <laughs> Good, that's a lot better. A clean, dry hand can hold a knife safely, and cut with it safely, too. Cut slowly, carefully, in small slices, and always cut away from yourself. Make sure there's an adult, or someone a lot older than you, who can help you if you need help. That's the safe way to carve a pumpkin. I'm glad Cory isn't going to spoil her Halloween fun. Carve carefully. That's one way to have a Halloween that's fun and safe. But what about having a candle burning inside your pumpkin? Well, I'm sitting on brick. But a candle and a pumpkin on a wooden porch might not be safe at all. A flashlight could be a lot safer then. But it's best to stay away from lighted candles that are inside or outside of jack-o'-lanterns. You know why. Well, not everybody carves a pumpkin on Halloween. But just about everybody does dress up in a costume. For instance, look across the street there. Do you see what I see? That robot is Jeremy in his costume. Oh, oh Jessica, it's you. How do you like my costume? You look great. Mm -hmm. Well, it may look great from the outside, but from the inside, things don't look very good at all. Jeremy can't see very well with his robot head on, and I don't think the rest of his costume lets him walk very well. He can't bend his knees. How are you going to walk in that? I don't know. It's hard for Jeremy to keep his balance. If Jeremy went out like that, he might keep losing his balance all the time. He might fall down just anywhere, and probably everywhere. Sidewalks hurt you when you fall on them, and so do streets. And streets are especially dangerous to fall down on. Jeremy has to be able to walk better if he doesn't want to spoil his Halloween fun. There, that's better. A costume shouldn't make you trip or fall. That's not safe. It should be easy for you to move in your costume. And you have to be able to see where you're going. Look, Jessica. A mask that makes it hard to see yes. could get you into all kinds of trouble. There, that's much better. Jeremy can see well now and move safely in his costume too.
Oh, but look at Jessica. She can't see much with her mask on. It's too big for me. A monster needs an ugly face. But does it have to be a mask? Makeup can be just as good, and it's always just the right size for you. Just don't get it in your eyes. Okay. Get another one. If you're not too good at putting on makeup, get an adult to help you. Make sure your mask and costume let you see well and walk well, and they won't spoil your fun on Halloween. Of course, the reason you get all dressed up at Halloween is so you can have fun going trick-or-treating. Girl!